Hello Void, I am Agitated Crane and today I am in a mood to play some fantasy games. Um, now as you can see we are going to play Baldur's Gate 3. Even though I have not played Baldur's Gate 1 or 2, but I don't think it matters. I'm hoping that there is not going to be any continuity. I have heard good things about this game, um, both online and from uh, some of my friends. And uh, first I'm going to sh go into options and uh, in gameplay. I have enabled nudity. I did not expect there to be nudity, but uh, yeah, there is some. <laughs> also, I have no clue what this setting is. It's like you can play porn, porn scenes, I guess, <laughs> offline, so it doesn't show to your friends if you are playing together. I, I guess, I don't know. I, I'm not checking this. I'm not going to play online, I'm going to be playing single player game. I have enabled nudity, uh, I'm not sure if it is against uh, YouTube TOS or whatever, but uh, I don't have partnership there anyway, so I can for now do whatever I want, and by the time um, I do get legitimate channel, it probably won't matter anyway. So, yeah. Now, also, some, some of the stuff that I wanted to uh, cover first. Um, I'm not going to waste time um, explaining what my uh, background is with tabletop games. For that, check my History of Engagement videos. Uh, specifically, History of Engagement, specifically with tabletops. Wow. Um, yeah, and then uh, I had to make a list of stuff to do and not to do in the game for it to be enjoyable both for uh, you guys and for me. And so I don't spend like insane, insane amount of time in the game. Um, in no general um, order. So we have... No cookie cutter builds. So I'm, I'm not going to be picking um, race class combo that seems like the most optimal. I'm going to try to make something fun. And uh, from what I know, I think this sort of game usually has like a followers or like companions. So those are probably going to be balanced and I can create some nonsense class. Um, okay, so th there is that. Then um, I'm going to be playing morally gray character. Uh, to elaborate on this, I usually play good characters and it gets uh, pretty boring. And in games I also don't like playing uh, evil characters because very few games actually portray evil characters correctly. It's usually like very cartoonish, I'm gonna steal your ice cream and poop in your hat uh, sort of situation. So I'm going to avoid doing all of that. And so I'm going to try to play my character sort of like a witcher, doing sort of good things but not trying to be like a hero you know okay so um no bare asses and by this i mean i don't uh, want to do side quests that uh, require me to collect some like 10 items or whatever and uh, have like no story to them so basically no filler side quests uh, i heard good things about this game so hopefully we will not see too, too many of those, but I feel like this game is huge, so it probably will have some something like that. Um, another point. Again, no bare asses. I have not seen much of the of this game online. 
it's been very long time in like early access, early development, whatever. And from the first like videos that I have seen, the teasers, I knew that I'm going to play it. Um, and I did not want to get spoiled. So um, I have seen only a few clips. And one of the clips I saw is that you can romance a druid in a bear form. So we are going to avoid that. So no bear asses. We are also not going to romance mostly no one. Unless I really, really like the character, I can maybe try. But because I'm very bad at it in real life, I suspect I'm going to fail here as well. So yeah, I'm, th this this is not going to be like uh, harem playthrough. This is going to be uh, trying to enjoy enjoy the game and maybe maybe something happens. But I also enabled nudity because I think it's uh, it's fine. We can survive it. Okay. Then uh, another point: don't collect everything. So when I played Dragon Age. It's not on the channel, I'm going to play it on the, on the channel once more, but a little bit later. But um, I played Dragon Age like a, when it came out, basically, right? Maybe like a year or so after it. And, and um, there is a button in that game that highlights stuff that you can collect. And I was basically going through the map revealing all the shadowed areas while holding this this button and I was collecting basically everything and that uh, that is not very entertaining right so we are going to avoid that and also I'm not sure what the situation with backpacks is going to be here but uh, in Skyrim again I was collecting everything and um, I would collect everything in the dungeon then i will teleport out sell it go back to the dungeon and again it's like a lot of extra work and stuff like that so while profitable you can earn some gold uh, ultimately i don't think it's worth it so we are going to try to be we will not try to be a hoarder i guess what, what i'm trying to say okay um, use usables. If you have seen any of my of my other playthroughs, I never use usable items, and I would like to change that because um, I feel like it's going to be more fun, right? And uh, also, one of the games I played recently that I will hopefully eventually put on the on the YouTube, but probably in a different form because I lost a bunch of uh, I was like 50 hours of recordings of that of that game uh, and that game is like very old school and it doesn't have like it, it gets very tough if you don't enchant your weapons use potions use uh, scrolls with magic and what whatever so we are going to try to teach me how to use items available to us okay another point no restarts or rerolls so um, one of my friends said that he was playing the game and he managed to kill some uh, blood npcs and it, it, it got like really weird and so he had to restart the game because it was basically not progressible so, I'm gonna play carefully, hopefully I'm not going to kill anyone important. But honestly, the way I play it's probably going to be very like vanilla playthrough, just following the story, making some choices, but hopefully not like killing the entire villages and, uh, I don't know, releasing dragons on, uh, on the continent. <laughs> I don't know what you can do in this game. Um, no guides, right. So, as I mentioned, I did not watch any anything, no, nothing, basically. 
about this game so I know nothing about it and if I hopefully I will not get stuck because this is modern game it's probably it will probably have a bunch of hand holding um, in one of my other playthroughs that I played one, one of the older games it had none of that so it was very difficult to navigate and figure out what to do in the dungeons and stuff like that I don't expect there to be an issue like this in this game so yeah no guides um, and then some some of my notes for like how to improve uh, myself as a youtuber so no voices I'm not going to be trying to um, pretend I have any voice acting talents so I'm just going to be my monotone self uh, for the entirety of playthrough and no ancient memes and by this I mean uh, I have like this parasitic phrases st stuck in my head uh, that uh, I accumulated while watching uh, YouTube playthroughs and, and uh, gaming podcasts and stuff like that over the years and I want to avoid using them because it's like I think it's cringe the only thing I'm going to use is me not that kind of work because I suspect that they are going to be throwing a bunch of bitches at me in this game so not that kind of work is is fine with me and so those are my notes and we can jump into character creation right so new game explorer a narrative experience placing story before combat so for uh, noobs balanced balanced adventure full of challenging choices so basically normal gameplay and tactician a tough campaign emphasizing strategic combat I don't know how good the combat is in this game, probably decent, but I don't want to. Um, I want. I don't want this to be too tough. I want to be. I want this to be enjoyable. So I'm. I'm gonna go with balanced, and yeah. All right. Pick 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 the blah. Never mind. Let's watch the cinematic. I haven't even seen this one because uh, I launched the trailer and it was uh, sort of like uh, freezing because I was also done downloading the game. So those are elites, right? And I'm guessing plot is going to revolve around them. That's a Gitianki, right? Well, it, it's a Git. I don't have that good um, knowledge or language skills, I guess, about uh, the difference between uh, Gitianki Git and Gitserai. I, I have some basics. Oh, no. They're gonna put, put some... What the fuck is that? Ew! Well, at least... It, at least, Where is it going? In the nose? In the ear? In the eye? Great. So far, no nudity. <laughs> I have I have seen some, some hentai <laughs> with, the, with this sort of thing. So, oh no! The fuck is that? I don't recognize it. I'm not that uh, that. Who are you? Yeah, sure. Enable tutorials. I'm not that big on um, 
Well, I, I know some basics, but I'm... Uh, I, I don't know... Uh, every creature, I guess. Okay, so... Origin, and we can... Uh, wait, so we can... Uh, we can either pick someone... Right. Wait, so hold on. So, so we can... Uh, we can create our own character. Or we can play as one of the predetermined characters. But... Um, Surely I want to create custom character and those characters will eventually join my party, right? Who do we have here? Astarion. After 200 years serving a cruel master, the vampire spawn Astarion is finally free. Free to walk in the sun, free to ch chase power, and free to take revenge. So this guy is... what? Half elf or vampire or what? 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 what where, where? Where can I see this? Oh, look! No, that's friends. Okay, never mind. Um, high elf. Okay, so he he is not. Um, he was just serving vampires. He is not the vampire vampire himself. So he is high elf rouge. Okay, Liazel. Lyzel was raised ready for a life amongst the stars, mercilessly conquering the cosmos as a Gityanki soldier. Okay, so she is Gityanki. Grounded, she must deal with a world she doesn't understand and find a way to serve her people in a plane that despises her militant, militant kin. Okay, so I'm not going to explain ha uh, high elves because you guys know what the fuck elves all are. Um, some uh, basic info on uh, Gityanki and Gates and whatever. So, um, Illithids, the guy, the tentacle guy that we saw in the beginning, they had slave races. And one of these slaves were Gates, who rebelled, and after the rebellion, they sort of split into two factions. Uh, Githyanki, who are more militant, and uh, from what I from what I understand, they are like sort of scavengers, so as you can see, she has like these uh, gems on in her armor, on, on her armor, and that's uh, fr I think I'm remembering correctly, that's that's like what they do. They basically collect shit and put it in into like armor and accessories and stuff like that. So those are Gityanki and then Gitzerai, I believe, is the second name. They are more like um, philosophically inclined. So uh, they uh, sort of se separated. Um, hid in some other plane and they are basically meditating so I don't know I guess in, in terms of Star Trek Githyanki are uh, Romulans and Gitserai are Vulcans <laughs> hope that helps Gale is human wizard Gale's wizarding prowess once earned him the love of Mistra, the goddess of magic, until his ambition led him to the brink of catastrophe. Shadowheart, half elf cleric, what the. Ah, uh, mace, okay. Uh, Shadowheart willingly undertook a rit ritual to remove her memories in order to protect the secrets of her fellow Shar worshippers. Loss and pain are sacred to her, but her fate is now being tested like never before. 
I don't know who Shar is. I mean, I understand it's, it's some god, but I don't remember what, what it is. But uh, pain, so maybe like some pain worship stuff. Another human, this time Warlock. Oh, we trap here, nice. The, the graphics, by the way, I really like the character design and, and the graphics and the background. Oh my god, there are butterflies. I just noticed. Yeah, this this is probably one of the things I should add to one of my points. Pay more attention to like the background and all of this shit because I okay, I really need to get lost to get lost in this world, right? Okay. So Will, known as the Blade of Frontiers, Will uses his magic to fell the monsters and devils menacing the Sword Coast. Uh for those not aware, Sword Coast is sort of like the main setting for Dungeon and Dragons. It's like um, it's like Middle Earth for Lord of the Rings. So Sword Coast is where most of the stuff happens, and that that is not to say there are that there are other important places on Pyrun, which is the world. No, well, no, hold on. Isn't it just like continent? Yeah, I think it's just continent and the world is called something else. It doesn't matter. Well, basically, world, world of Dungeons and Dragons has a bunch of places. Some of them more explored, some of them less. And Sword Coast is uh, your... Like, vanilla place where... Most of the stuff happens with elves, dwarves, uh, humans, and stuff like that. In a moment of desperation, he accepted an offer of great power, forcing him into an infernal game he is struggling to pay. That's quite interesting. Karlach. Karlach has escaped 10 years of service in the hells with nothing but the axe on her back and the infernal engine blazing furiously where her heart used to be. So this, yeah, barbarian. Tieflings are half human, half devils. So, the Dark Urge. You remember nothing but a path paved with blood. Unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? Oh, your appearance and class can be fully customized. What? Wait, what? So the Dark Urge... So hold on... This sounds like... This sounds like uh, we are not... Oh my god... They have body type 1 and body type 2... Just use male and female... You, you. Eh, whatever. So that uh, so this sounds like if you want to like bloody or I guess evil com campaign, you would use this guy. But then you can. You can customize him. Uh. Oh. Yeah, you can actually. No, I just want to exit. Okay. Okay, so we can create custom character. Um. Um. How, how did... okay, race. Okay, so we have elves, tieflings, drows, humans, gitianki. Oh, this gitianki is actually correct. Because this one... Oh, I guess she is a bit skinny too, but... 
Usually they are like really, really skinny. What the f guys? Custom. Okay. We have dwarves. We have high elves. We have halflings. Gnomes. Huh. Dragon Bjorn and Half Orcs. Okay. So. Um. I don't want to play Tiflin because that's. Uh, well, first of all. Oh my god, they have multiple body types. So you can even have like tran trans. <laughs> Tiflin, I guess I. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so we have. Uh, Tiflings. And I'm not going to play Tiflin because I feel like that's too too edgy. Same goes with Draws. It's like uh, they are very, I think, they are very interesting grace uh, in, in the lore, but um, playing Draw in like regular campaign, it seems strange. Although based on the on the intro where we are like prisoners on some elite Ship place, I don't know. Um, Drows were actually s enslaved by elite, it's same as Githyanki, if I'm not mistaken. Humans, I'm not going to play human because that's like the most boring option ever. Githyanki, uh, I like them, but I don't want the game to be weird. Well, no, not weird, but but like. Look, um, Githyanki are not native to the to the world, so I don't want him to be alien to the world, I guess. Dwarf, strong contenders, probably what we are going to go with, because we like dwarves. Half-elves and elves are possibility too. Halflings, uh, no, because halflings Obviously, there is association with Lord of the Rings, but halflings in uh, Dungeons and Dragons, I find them very boring. In Lord of the Rings, there is that that aspect that they are basically isolated. They don't know about the stuff going on in the world, and then they they go on this grand adventure and stuff like that. While in um, Dungeons and Dragons, halflings are basically there right in the in the big world and they are not uh, they are not talking halflings and that's uh, that's what makes me not care about them gnome uh, i feel like that is going to be very gay i don't I like his face dragonborn Probably again to to edgy. A proud race that values clan and skills above all else. Once enslaved by dragons, they strive to be self-sufficient, not wanting to be beholden to anyone, not even the gods. You can move nine meters per turn. Okay. So is this turn-based? I was not aware. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while since I talked so much. Then half orcs. Half orcs, another strong contender. Uh, I don't know. They they have sort of like. Yeah, I can zoom in. Okay, so they. It looks like a weird mix of uh, Warcraft orc and. It's like human, you know, but which is what half orcs are. But half orcs uh, in uh, Dungeons and Dragons, I always imagined them more human-like. So no, no, none of this uh, crazy jaw, uh, smaller tusks. I, I guess. Yeah, you can edit it. So I guess some some something more more like this. Ah, 
And now since I identity, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, uh, since I since I allowed myself, I'm not that kind of work quote. Ooh, it is tempting, but no, I'm. I think I'm going with the dwarf. I'm going with the dwarf and I, I think I'm going to be competitive with the dwarf, like um, be in the face. Oh, no, back. I want to edit this guy and I want, can I have a black dwarf? Oh, this is going to be silly. Let's go with, uh, with uh, vanilla dwarf. We are going to identify as normal person, voice. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Fuck. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Be wary. This place not, is trapped. Does not sound like an like a dwarf, right? It's opened. More of those wretched things. This is female voice. Why why is it under male? There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Hmm. That's a decent voice. Let's hope. Hells. Okay. Be no. wary. It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Hmm. What? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Something. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's opened. More of those wretched. There's magic keeping this chest. What? Okay, so Beware. I think I'm going with it's five. Opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Yeah, okay. I can feel Skin it. Tone. I want a little brighter because we are we are a dwarf after all. So we are like used to living under under the ground. Scaring. Uh, do we need a scar? I'm just going in, into into the adventure. Let's let's not have a scar. Um, the fuck it does does. Do you guys see a, any difference? I'm not seeing anything. Let's put it in the middle, like so. I I have no clue what it what it does. Freckles, I do like freckles. Ah yeah 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 I I do I do see some freckles. Can you guys see it? It sort of sh shows up. Okay, I I have freckles on the girl, but uh, on the oh, and there then there is also intensity. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 great. I like it on the girl, but on, on the guys. Yeah. Fuck it. Um, witil what the f witiligo pigmentation. I guess I guess that's also some sort of uh, inclusion. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh oh my god! What the? F <laughs> uh. Do we risk it already in the very first episode? Are we gonna are we gonna be picking dick sizes or like spo spotted dick, not spotted dick? <laughs> Fuck it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my oh my god! 
Okay, you know guys, I'm a little bit disappointed that we did not get like a solid beard on, <laughs> in, on there. <laughs> Let, I don't know, Let, let's, let's go with the def default. I don't really care about that. Okay, body art. Um, um, that's that's too edgy. Let's uh, let's let's not do that. Piercings, uh, well, maybe. Lapis uh, stud muffin. Uh huh. Okay. Subdued loops. Silver gold color. Can I can I get just on the nose maybe? Well not like that. Bar drinks. Oh do I make a bard? Oh there is a bard dwarf in uh, Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Let's not. Let, let's let's have no piercings. Fuck it. Eyes. Heterochromia. Oh, so you can you can put each eye a different color. Okay. I want sort of like brownish golden eyes. Okay, or blue. Oh, that's that's kind of maybe maybe good idea to have like bluish eyes, maybe green. Nah, fuck it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this like a from from Tiflink or something? Let's not do that though. Let's let's just regular dwarf. We're go we're gonna make to like very very boring character. We can put him in drag. That's that's good. That's good. Oh my god. We can give him purple lips. Okay, never mind. Uh, no makeup. Uh, no lip tint hair this is like a very weird hair for me so uh beautiful <laughs> no hold on uh well 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 Maybe. Uh, okay, aside from uh, the fact that there are obviously female hair hairstyles. This is this is like a granny hairstyle on a dwarf. What are you guys doing? Is there like a male option? Like what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, like come on guys. That's 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 not good. Uh, that's not good either. Uh. <laughs> that's my hairstyle. <laughs> that that's 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 my hairstyle when I. Um, when I don't care about uh, caring about myself. <laughs> okay, let, let's go. Let's go with that. That that actually is, looks like a decent dwarf. Now uh, we are going to go with. Uh, can we actually do like? We can 
<laughs> we, we, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna make that joke. <laughs> um, black Neutral. Black Raven. Well, there is a little bit of difference. I'm thinking more about sort of like this. Yeah, let's do that. Um, highlights. There are highlights. Ah, intensity. Okay. Oh my god. We can make Uther. Let's actually do that. Let's do that. Uther. Pendragon it is. Was he Pendragon? I think I'm mixing up Uther from Warcraft with uh, Uther from fucking Camelot. Okay. Um, Graying. Um, actually, yeah. Let's put some gray into it, into into our face. Sure. We we are not the, like the youngest dwarf there is. Okay, and now facial hair. Oh my god, this is horrible. This is how I look, by the way. Th this is horrible. This is horrible. So we, we need uh, we need uh, like a serious beard. This, at the very least. Um, the fuck, you guys don't have. They don't have dwarf beards. This is the only thing that that is semi decent. And I want this to be identical to my to my hairstyle. So, fuck you guys. This is this is what we are going with. Okay. And is that is that all? Okay. So we edited the character. We have the dwarf. Now, sub race. Oh, you fuckers! Now I will have to edit the shield dwarf if I decide to play him. Okay, gold dwarf. Those dwarves are known for their confidence and keen intuition. The culture of their deep kingdom values family, ritual, and fine craftsmanship. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Sub race feature: dwarven toughness. Your hit points are more impressive. Uh, we can move. I think default is eight. So we had some race that that was faster, and it was getting nine. And dwarves are, are usually slower, but deadly at the short distance. So um, yeah, he has seven point five per turn. Dwarven combat, you have proficiency with battle axes. Okay, so this is uh, another thing what we shouldn't care about, because this basically pigeonholes him into martial, martial classes. So like your warriors, or I guess fighters, uh, barbarians and stuff like that. Dark vision. Ev everyone aside from humans have da has dark vision, and it's bullshit. It sort of makes sense for dwarves, because they usually live underground but then elves have dark vision and it's like fuck off dwarven resilience you have advantage on seven throws against poison do you have resistance to poison the damage okay and then we have shield dwarf does this guy have more fish facial hair no it's identical shield dwarf Great losses in ancient wars against goblins and orcs have led these dwarves to adopt a cynical mindset, but they will endure anything to restore their ancestral homeland. And they get light and medium armor. Okay, that's... What? This is stupid, everyone gets light, light armor. 
and then medium armor like okay maybe if you are wizard and you get medium armor for free but then medium armor has like sp spell failure okay classes that require that are meant for medium armor get medium armor classes that don't use medium armor usually have a reason for it so I'll, I'll, out of my head out of, out, out of the top of my head you have monks monks get penalty if they wear armor so they don't wear armor at all you get uh, wizards and other casters who get uh, spell failure if they are wearing armor so th this is like po pointless uh, feature for, for the character. And then we got Druger. Drugers are basically... Uh, I'm pronouncing it wrong. But they are basically... Uh, deep dwarves. Deep, deeper than regular dwarves. And... Uh, you know, as you have drows or I guess dark elves. So these are basically dark dwarves. Dark dwarves. Uh, they, they are your... Uh, uh, what the fuck are they called in Warcraft? Dark Anvil? Dark Irons. Yeah, da Dark Iron Dwarves. So, yeah, basically just evil dwarves from deeper than regular dwarves. Uh, and they get another... They also get Dark Vision? What? Oh, regular dwarves have 12, 12 meters, and these guys have double that, okay. And then advantage against illusions and charms, or paralyze, okay. We are going with uh, the gold dwarf, we quite like our look so far. Okay, class. So we have our barbarians. Ooh, we have our bards. This may be something that I am interested in, but the bards. I'm a little bit worried how the gameplay is going to be. And I think the songs are gonna get annoying very quickly. So we have clerics, healers. We have druids who are going to shapeshift, presumably, right? Okay. We have fighters, who I really like the look of, but I, as I said, I don't want to create cookie cutter uh, characters, so I'm guessing that barbarians, fighters, and probably paladins are off the table for me. Monks? I think I got into this uh, with Warcraft, but obviously no one watched that. I don't like monks in fantasy settings. If there are monks, it should be in like uh, Asian themed uh, fantasy. And if you want to put mechanical monks into your regular fantasy, I would call them something like, I don't know, brawlers or something like that. So they, they can still be like unarmed fighters um, and grapplers and whatever, but not uh, uh, not like traditionally Eastern monks, you know, paladins. Paladins... Uh, paladins also don't fit uh, into one of the settings that I chose where I, I can't... I can't play goody two twos, you know. Then we have we got Ranger. Uh, oh, Ranger. We got Rouge. I might play Rouge. Rouge might be might be might be an option. I'm not sure how much. Uh... Okay. So I guess let's let's get into it. Um, I suspect this game is based on uh, uh, fifth edition because everyone hates fourth edition, 
and third edition is quite old so i'm guessing this is fifth this is based on fifth edition um i don't really like fifth edition i played it only a couple of times and i was not impressed but this is a story for uh, um, history of engagement video that you can check uh, i will put it into description hopefully uh, but rogues traditionally have use magic device and use magic device i think could be fun that's one of the one of the reasons why i would like to play a rogue uh, then another is um, rogues are not very intimidating Intimidation is based, I think, out of strength and charisma, usually. Uh, right? And... Um, playing a rogue that tries to intimidate people could be fun. But I suspect... Um, well... I wonder, right? I do wonder. Because, you know, I don't want the game to be unplayable at all. And I wonder if I can even... level up Intimidation without, without it being like a class skill. Sorcerer. That's another interesting choice for me. Warlock also could be fun. And then we have Wizards. Wizards... Okay, so... Casting classes, I think, are require min-maxing. So if you don't... If you don't play them correctly, you are gonna suffer. Well, I guess same goes for martial classes, but uh, classes like Bard, I think you can play however, however the fuck you want, and it won't matter. So, Rogue, Lockpicking, Pickpocketing, Bluffing, maybe throw in some Intimidation into it, use Magic Device. With stealth, skill, and uncanny reflexes, rogues versatility lets them get the upper hand in almost any situation. Um, the problem with uh, rogues are that whenever I play them, I really suck at them. And I don't know how much stealth is going to play a role in this game. I hope not, not, not that, mu that much, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's go with Rogue. Background, we have Acolyte. You have spent your life in service to a temple. Well, Rogue. Yeah, sure. Charlatan. You are an expert in manipulation, prone to uh, exaggeration and more than happy to profit from... Oh, we actually get skills I did not notice. So, Insight and Religion. Happy to profit from it, bending the truth and turning allies against each other will lead to greater success down the road. Deception, sleight of hand. Hmm. Criminal. You have a history of breaking the law and survive by leveraging less than legal connections. Profiting from criminal enterprise will lead to greater opportunities in the future. Again, deception and we get stealth. I don't want to use stealth. There are very few games where I enjoyed stealth, and but this is turn based. I think stealth here would work. Entertainer, you live to sway and subvert your audience, engaging common crowds and high society alike, preserving art and bringing joy to the helpless, hapless, yes? and downtrodden heightens your charismatic aura. So. Entertainer could be, could be, could, could be, could work. It's sort of like a charlatan, you know? That, that's, that's the image I have. 
like he entertains but he during the the acts he may be steals he may be uh, replaces uh, replaces uh, items Polg hero you are a champion of the common people challenging tyrants and monsters uh, to protect the helpless. Saving innocent in imminent danger will make your legends grow. Animal handling, survival. So your um, Robin Hood. Guild artisan. Your skill in particular craft has earned you membership in a mercantile guild, offering privileges and protection while engaging in your art. Repairing and discovering rare crafts will bring new inspiration. So... Uh, is there crafting? Will I have to be concerned in crafting? Because per per persuasion and insight is actually quite good thing, you know. Uh, noble, noble. You were raised in a family among the social elite, accustomed to power and privilege. Accumulating renown, power and loyalty will raise your status. Eh, doesn't sound that interesting. Outlander. You grow up in the wilds, learning to survive far from the comforts of civilization. Surviving initial hazards of the wild will enhance your prowess and understanding. Uh, you know, guys, I don't want... Um... Rogue is a city character. So stuff like folk hero, outlander, some like survival stuff. I, I don't think that's that makes sense. We are curious and well read with an unending thirst for knowledge. Learning about rare lore of the world will inspire you to put this knowledge into great purpose. This is something that I would pick because I like lore, basically. So getting a little a little bit more of it could be interesting. But what I'm noticing so far, a lot of this could work with uh, with rogue. Very few of it can work with anything else. Like if you if you pick um, if you pick wizard. You can basically pick Sage, Acolyte, Noble maybe. I guess Entertainer is a bit like a Universal, but... And Fog Hero, but holy shit. And then Barbarians and uh, the Martial Classes in general. You basically have Outlander, Fog Hero, and then Soldier, and maybe Urchin. Soldier, you are trained in battlefield tactics and combat, uh, having served in a militia, mercenary company or, or officer corps. Show smart tactics and bravery on the battlefield and enhance your prowess. So, intimidation. This is what I, what I want. I want a weak rogue with uh, intimidation. So, let's check this. After surviving poor and bleak childhood, you... Mm, you know how to make the most of very of very little, using your street smarts bolsters your spirit of the journey ahead. I do want sle slate of hand. I do want deception. Uh, I do want performance, for example. But I do want intimidation and in uh, all, all of these skills: slate of hand, stealth, deception, persuasion. Oh, look, if you pick charlatan, you get double acrobatics. Uh, okay. Um, for those who are not familiar with dungeon and Dungeons and Dragons tabletop, or I guess any tabletop game, because I've seen it in mostly in most of them, when you pick a class, you also get like some skills that that class knows how to do and so with um, with rogue slate of hand stealth deception all of that he already knows 
but intimidation is not one of his skills. So I'm going with soldier, so he gets intimidation, he has persuasion by default, so that's great. And then he gets... Uh, he doesn't have slate of hands? What? This is weird. But, okay, that doesn't matter. Intimidation gives me intimidation, so I can use intimidation. Slate of hand, I can pick from level up. I'm almost sure I can pick it up from level up. Okay, and now we have ability points. And we have zero ability points. Right. So wisdom, senses and intuition. Uh, I'm gonna lower that to 12. I'm gonna lower that to 12. I'm fine with constitution. I can't afford uh, more dexterity. But I think I, I will get it from level up, I guess. <clears throat> um. I may be mixing up shit, but um, intelligence, intelligence is great because it gives you more skill points, but I'm not sure if that's the same in, uh, I don't think it's the same in the 5th edition. It is in Pathfinder and 3rd edition if I'm not mistaken, but not here. So I think here, here I, I think we don't care about intelligence. Yeah, fuck, fuck this. Uh, let's, let's do 10 without any bonus. Let's improve strength because that's actually I think that's going to improve our intimidation. Well, again, I don't remember if in 50 how skills work in 5th edition. I think they don't work at all. Intimidation. Intimidation is out of, out of charisma. The fuck. Anyway, uh, not having penal. Penalties to strength is more beneficial than having extra one point for uh, intelligence checks. So, fuck that. Uh, strength, dexterity. The first chance we get, we increase dexterity to 18. And uh, that, that's it. Uh, dwarves are not that dexterous, so... Skill proficiency. We can change them. Let's keep acrobatics. Fuck. Let's remove acrobatics from um, from double. Yeah, let's let's rem let's remove those. Let's uh, let's put more into intimidation. And uh, should we get athletics? I don't care about athletics that much. I will need persuasion, I think. 
I think I will try to resolve a bunch of stuff without combat. So we removed uh, acrobatics. What does acrobatics do? Keep bounds. What? Surely we don't care. And then stealth. I I don't want to use stealth too much and. We are dwarfs, so we will suck at it anyway. Let's uh, let's remove it from there. Actually, you receive a bonus to every skill that you are proficient in. This bonus increases as you gain more levels in your class and applies to all chance for that skill. Okay, so we want as much of these as we. I'm actually removing acrobatics and putting slate of hand. And what else do we have here? Investigation. Oh, I do want investigation. Why do we have so, so little skills? Don't care about all of that. Inside, inside could be could be fun. We don't have any perception. Oh my god. Uh, let's sacrifice performance for now, because if we don't have performance, I can live without it. Not having, not having investigation, insight, and perception, it's gonna fuck me. So we get athletics from background and intimidation from background. We then also focused intimidation and we got slate of hand, stealth, perception, persuasion. Okay. Persuasion, important. Intimidation, important. Perception, important. Slate of hand. Class feature should. I have no clue why they did not include it. Stealth, important. So we are missing what? from the stuff that I care about. Investigation and insight. And deception. Oh my god. <coughs> Again, sorry. Fucking deception. Should I maybe remove persuasion and go with deception instead? The thing is, I, I don't intend to decept people that much. If there were a villain, or enemies, I guess, then deception for me makes sense, but in regular conversation, I would rather persuade than deceive. So let's, uh, let's stay like this. Proceed. Uh, we need a name. Tough. Uh, no randomizer? What are you doing to me? Tough. Tough love. <laughs> hmm. I don't want to use default name. Let's go with uh, Cooper. I actually had a um, character named like that in Pathfinder. No. Dungeons and Dragons. Doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here because I imagine once we start the game uh, shit is going to hit the fan and I think we have spent enough time on the character creation, some introduction, all of this shit. So, yeah. First episode done. Really looking forward to this. Hope I can stay with it. Hope my real life does does not interrupt. Really high high hopes for this game, even though I'm already seeing some weird shit in the character creation, like 
female voices on male characters, female haircuts, no beards on dwarves. Uh, what else did we have? Body type one and body type two. Uh, dick sizes, like, come on. So, yeah. Still high, high hopes for the game. I heard good things. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, yeah. See you in the next episode where we actually start the game. Goodbye.